Hello everyone! For today's video, we're gonna talk about the ways on how to completely eliminate ticks and fleas. First, let's talk about ticks and fleas. Ticks and fleas are pesky external parasites that love to hide in your dog's fur and attach themselves to the skin for feeding. Dogs that spend time outdoors, especially in high grass or wooded areas, are at risk. But they can also be found in shorter grass and around shrubs in your yard. Ticks and fleas are commonly seen in warmer months, but some can also survive freezing temperatures. They also jump from pet to pet, so even if your dog stays indoors most of the time, these parasites can find a way to infest her body. Fleas and ticks often carry other parasites and diseases that can be harmful to your dog's health and in some cases may be fatal. Humans are also at risk of medical issues since these parasites are interested in feeding on blood from animals or humans and they can live in you, home in search of their next host. It is critical to learn proper flea and tick removal as well as prevention to stop disease transmission from occurring, keeping you and your pet healthier and happier. To get rid of ticks and fleas on your dog, know how to look for them. Ticks tend to be larger than fleas, though they often like to move to warm, dark, moist areas on the body. It is important to frequently feel your dog all over, including in between the toes, ears, armpits, groin, and facial folds. Try to check daily if your pet is often outdoors or a few times weekly if they only go out for walks. The sooner a tick is located and removed, the less likely it is that medical issues will occur since it takes several hours, usually up to 36 hours, for disease transmission to occur once a tick attaches to the skin. Brushes and combs may be helpful to search for ticks, but a thorough once over with your hands is the best way to find a tick on your dog. Always wash your hands after checking your dog for ticks. Once a tick is located, Use small tweezers to grab the tick at the base where it has burrowed into the skin and lift with steady, firm upward pressure. Once the tick mouth is removed from the skin, place the stick in a container or plastic bag. Use a small amount of alcohol or antiseptic to dab the affected area of your dog's skin after removal. Make sure not to pop the tick during the removal. The easiest way to find fleas on your dog is by using a flea comb. When you comb through the fur, flea eggs or droppings be visible, which is confirmation of flea infestation. Fleas tend to be more difficult to remove than ticks because they are smaller and more numerous. Even if you remove the adult fleas with simple bathing, the eggs will eventually hatch or fleas in the home will jump back onto your dog, causing another infestation. The first thing that I do whenever I see ticks or fleas crawling in my dog's body is that I immediately remove it using tweezers and I'm very careful because I don't want to pop it because the ticks and fleas might spread which will worsen the situation. After removing the ticks and fleas, I immediately bath them using this Beering Anti-Tick and Flea Soap. My last remedy when it comes to numerous amount of ticks and fleas, I immediately apply this tick and flea spot on. And take note that after applying this spot on on your dog's body, you should not pat them for a week. So far so good, this brand works well on my fur babies and is really effective. There are numerous brands of tick and fleas and you can use whatever you prefer. We only apply 1cc 
tick and flea spot on. Since my dog's is below 10 kilograms, take note that you should not inject this to your dog, only apply it to the skin. Another way to kill ticks and fleas is to give Brevecto to your dogs. This is a little bit pricey, so this is usually our last option and we usually use this for maintenance so that the ticks and fleas will not return on my dog's body. Take note that the mentioned ways on how to kill the ticks and fleas is not recommended for pregnant dogs. Treating your yard and home for ticks and fleas is one of the best ways to prevent infestation or reinfestation. Regular cleaning and vacuuming of floors in your house is also a great way to prevent ticks and fleas from occurring because there's no use of treating or killing ticks and fleas found on your dog's body if the ticks and fleas is still living around your home. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.